Hi, this is JB from Now the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another episode of Eye of Chaos, where we pick a random investigator, build a chaos deck for him or her, and then play the Midnight Mass scenario on standard difficulty and try to do the best we can. Uh, so last time we got some variety in our class of investigator, so we got a seeker. Let's see uh, what we get this time. So I have all of my remaining investigators in this uh, bag. So we'll pick one at random. And the uh, unlucky investigator this time is... Uh, it is... Uh, I'm blanking out on the name. Patrice. Yeah, so we are playing a survivor and uh, Patrice has... Um, interesting deck and playstyle so I'm really looking forward to this. It will be total chaos because the deck size is, I, I, if I remember correctly, 42. So it will be quite a big deck. So let's uh, start by creating the deck over at arkhamdb.com. So I'll hop, hop over there first. Okay, and we are on arkhamdb.com and let's pick uh, Patrice Hathaway from here, there she is, create a deck, and loading, just click the chaos button to generate the deck, so let's see what we get, so <laughs> uh, right away, mm, I'm noticing we didn't get that, I think we didn't get any dual class cars for Patrice, well, that is fine. I am using the whole um, card pool available, so not not sure why we didn't get any, but it is what it is, so let's see. Uh, first off, we have uh, 18 Derringer for fighting. Patrice isn't that good of a fighter, so we probably want to get uh, cars with good skill icons to commit. So uh, the special thing about Patrice is that uh, she will discard her whole hand at the end of the round and uh, at the upkeep phase and draw a new hand every turn. So we really want to commit cars that we can't play and stuff like that. So uh, then let's continue. Well, <laughs> we have two copies of Kukri, which are not that good. Uh, we'll see if we can make them be of any use. Uh, then we have a newspaper. Uh, this is actually okay uh, if we want to grab one clue somewhere, but we'll see. The ritual candles, uh, not that exciting. Mm, Scrying mirror, uh, not that good. Maybe for the icon, but nothing else. Mm, sword cane. Could be good for Patrice because we can fight with our willpower, which is high. Uh, it is four. The other stats are two. Then we have uh, <laughs> Dragon Ball times two. Well, um, not that good because we have to fight with our uh, fight. And well, we got a lot of arcane slot things, so we have the Eye of Chaos, uh, the title of my uh, series. Uh, so. This is actually good for investigating, so lucky we got at least one investigative card. Scrying, uh, not that interesting. Uh, Shroud of Shadows, well, for evading, good. We can evade with our um, willpower, but the big uh, win in this deck so far is two copies of Sixth Sense, so this is uh, really good for Patrice. So we definitely want to see one of these early on, so we can start investigating with the willpower. Uh, one copy of Saint Hubert's Key. It's a good card, it, it boosts our willpower and intellect, but drops our sanity, but we have plenty of sanity. Uh, Ropes of Endless Nights. This is an okay card, maybe. We'll see. Uh, Alyssa Graham. Uh, boosts our willpower. A bit costly, but... Well, not sure if we are going to play uh, Alyssa, but we have David Renfield, which is a really good, will boost our willpower and give us resources. And uh, then we have Scrapper, 
uh, well, maybe for the agility, but nothing else. I'm pretty sure, well, uh, we can use it for fighting, so it would be good. Smoking pipe, uh, okay, well, uh, take damage to heal horror, maybe good, maybe not. Track shoes, not the best for Patrice with the uh, two agility. Astral travel, could be really good in this scenario. Mm, calling in favors, mm, maybe not good. Uh, cunning distraction, if we have the resources, it's good, but I think this is going to be double willpower icon to commit. Uh, dark prophesy, no, not good. Fight or flight. Uh, good, good, be good if we need to evade and play this. So, yeah, uh, it's also tw times two. Unfortunately, there's no icons to commit, so that is a bummer. Uh, lucky, again, good car, but no icons. We want to see icons on Patrice. Moonlight ritual uh, could be really good if we pump up David Renfield, then clear with Moonlight Ritual. Oops, actually a good card for Patrice because of the two icons, nothing more. Uh, Parallel Fates, no, well it's a wild icon which is always good for Patrice. Phantom Flux, this is actually a good synergy with Patrice because Patrice goes through her deck quite fast so we want to uh, maybe play this to shuffle the deck back if we don't hit any Elder Sign pulls. Uh, read the signs, always good for Patrice. Spectral Razor, always good for Patrice. Unfortunately, only one copy of both. Uh, Storm of Spirits could be, could be really good in this scenario if we get swamped by enemies. Uh, Ward of Protection, always good. Uh, Ward of Radiance, not good because we don't have any uh, less generation. One Guts. Okay, uh, manual dexterity, okay, our power, okay, and survival instinct could be good, maybe. And the random basic weakness is, uh, let's see, reckless, okay, well, not the worst, but not the best for Patrice who wants to commit cards. So, um, that is the deck. Next up, I will build the deck and we'll see how Patrice does in the uh, the Midnight Mass scenario. So uh, I'll build the deck and we'll get going. So let's get started. Okay, we are ready to start with Patrice. So we have the deck built, shuffled, the cool, pr uh, cool priest is in the uh, encounter deck and that's shuffled. Uh, we are playing on standard difficulty. Let's draw our opening hand and see what we get. So we get the uh, Derringer, Quantum Flux, Scrying Mirror, Moonlight Ritual, Crowd of Shadows. I think uh, we are mulliganing the whole hand. We want to find the six cents, one, two, three, four, five, six, one too many. So, oops, scrying, Alyssa Graham, read the signs, and Ward of Radiance. So, not that good. Shuffle these, but at least we're drawing a lot of cards every turn, so we should be okay getting close. So, we are probably just. Playing the read the signs here, moving and uh, investigating and spending all the other cars for investigating, which we can. Not playing that much. I think we want. Well, we could play Alisa. I think we'll play Alisa. Yeah. But uh, again, then we don't have enough to play uh, the read the signs. I think uh, Alisa would be good for longer run, so we'll play Alisa first action. Uh, 
and uh, second action will investigate. I will commit these cards. Now we are investigating uh, three, four, five. Someone's two will grab this clue. Uh, we'll use uh, Alisa's ability to look at the top card of the encounter deck or any player deck if you, uh, you may, then add one to. So we just want to see what's coming up. So obscuring fog. So we actually don't want to move. We want to get the obscuring fog on this location. So we'll leave it over over there. And last thing is we'll get a resource for the last card. This go into this card. Upkeep, we draw our new hand. One, two, three, four, five. We gain one resource. So we get a uh, Storm of Spirits, Sword Cane, God, Smoking Pipe, and Re Spectral Razor. So that is the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Dune to the agenda. Encounter card is the obscure fog we just revealed last turn. So we'll put it underneath here. Uh, we'll immediately use Alyssa to check what's uh, coming next turn. So false lead, if you have no clues, false lead can search if you have one or more. Okay, so we would drop clues. So we will probably just uh, spend the clues. So we'll move to River Town. There's one clue here. We are investigating here. I'm investigating uh, three versus one. Nothing to commit, unfortunately. And I don't have time to place for Kane. Well, it's it's a card we don't want to play. I, uh, so we're just uh, so we're investigating for the second action, uh, investigating three versus one. It's a cultist uh, minus two. Place one doom on the nearest cultist enemy. There are none, so we'll still succeed and grab the clue. Last action, we'll spend the clues to spawn a cultist, and these are shuffled, so we get Victoria Debro. So. Uh, Victoria spawns at north side. And we need resources to defeat Victoria. So, um, spend five resources, parlay, add Victoria Deborah to the victory play. So, that is quite doable. You can just uh, generate resources later. So, uh, no enemy actions. We go to upkeep. We discard our whole hand. Draw a new hand. We get uh, Patrice Violin, Manual Dexterity, Reckless, Scrapper, and Cunning Distraction. So uh, we can't discard weaknesses, which is annoying, but it is what it is. Let's see. Uh, so we'll also get one resource, and that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a Doom. Encounter card is uh, the false lead, so it can search. So we get hunting uh, night guns, which will spawn on us. Not the most fun thing to get engaged with, but we'll see what we can do. Okay. Um, This is a bit annoying. So I think... So to get rid of this we have to succeed... Succeed in a test. But we'll keep it in hand. We'll just lose... Well, we don't want to lose resources, so... 
really annoying. Okay, well, we need to... Um, okay, I think we... I, I know what we are going to do, so... Uh, we will use uh, manual dexterity and scrapper. Committed to in, uh, evade. So five against one. It's a minus two. Place one doom on the nearest cultist enemy. Unfortunately, we have a cultist enemy now, so that it goes here. But it is enough. It's minus two, so it's minus four. But we are uh, over by four. So we succeed, we draw a card, this guy is evaded, second action we'll move to the graveyard, and uh, uh, there are two clues here, I will uh, do the test on the graveyard by committing the reckless, so I am uh, Uh, yeah, it, this doesn't uh, have any icons on it, so it's just uh, testing forward we get rid of the reckless. And uh, skulls are minus x, so it's minus 1, so we are uh, able to get rid of the reckless. Last action, we are just... Uh, we'll play the violin, actually. So... Or do we want to spend any? We don't want to spend any clue. But we want the violin. We have time to get uh, resources. So we'll play the violin for our last action. To get it into play. So, uh, no enemy actions. We go to upkeep. We discard our hand. Uh, we'll draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. This ready is also uh, calling in favors. Uh, Ward of protection. Peril Fate, Six Sense, and Overpower. And uh, yeah, let's again use Alyssa before our end of our turn. So, uh, Crypt Chill. Uh, it's fine, we can just. Uh, we can just uh, Ward of Protection that or lose the violin. Whatever, but we also get a resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we have the wrong color here, and it's also not engaged with us, so it's over here. Okay, uh, we'll add a Doom to the agenda. Counter card was the Crypt Chill. We will or protection it. Taking one horror on Alisa. So it doesn't affect us. I'll check. Top card again. False lead. Keep it. Uh, let's see. We are. We're not advancing next turn, so I'm not using Alisa yet. We'll. Actually, hmm, let's not ward the grip chill because uh, we have a good. Willpower, so I'm committing the Peril Fates to it. So I'm uh, testing 5 versus 4. Also, I think I'm uh, mm, using getting rid of the overpower with the violin. Drawing a card. Uh, survival Instinct is not helping us. Okay, uh, I'm testing the Crypt Chill. So, 5 versus 4. It's a plus 1, so nothing happens. So, we first action play um, 6 cents. Second action, we will investigate. Actually, yeah, when we are checking, now we want. No, we don't want to. Oh well. Uh, yeah. So 
Yes, yeah, second action investigate. Uh, four versus one. Tablet is a minus three. It is still good. We don't fail. Last action will investigate. Four versus one. Minus one. Grab this clue. Then uh, nothing happens. Enemy face. Uh, this hunts here. Engages us. Hits us for one and one. Put one on here, one on here. Upkeep. We discard our hand. Draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. We hit our uh, weakness and newspaper. Watcher from another dimension. Dragon pole, ritual candles, and fight or flight, which will come in. Will <laughs> won't come in handy because we haven't taken any horror. Uh, that is unfortunate. Well, we'll get one resource. So that is uh, that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we do add a doom. So five of uh, six encounter card is the false lead. So if you have one or more clues, test. Uh, uh, intellect 4 for each point you fail by place one of your clues on location. So let's see what we can do. I'm using the violin immediately to discard the fight of light. Drawing card. So we'll use newspaper and uh, David Renfield for this test. Uh, I am uh, 3 for 5 versus 4. The zero, nothing happens, luckily. So, these are used. Okay, now we have to get rid of the night count, so we don't have any boost for our mm, agility, so evading. Uh, we need uh, zero or better. Minus two, not good enough. Uh, second action, evade. Elder sign, so uh, we will shuffle our deck back into our, our discard back into our deck. Uh, one card needs to be remain in the discard, so we'll leave a reckless there. And uh, just a moment to shuffle, and it is a uh, plus one, so we are able to evade also. And last action, we'll move over here. And our deck is shuffled. Uh, enemy face, nothing happens. Upkeep, uh, this guy readies, and it's over here now. Uh, we'll discard our hand, except the Watcher. Draw back up to five. Astral Travel, Six Sense, Feral Fates, Dragon Ball. So quite mystic hand. Uh, we'll gain one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Oh yeah, uh, before that we'll check. Top card in Ali. It's an Acolyte, so... Uh, actually, we I think uh, no, we we get the mask hunter, so we are not getting. We don't want too many enemies. So I'll uh, let's see. So we could place it at the bottom. So we'll do that. We are advancing, so we might as well. Okay, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom, so we advance. So we remove all doom in play. Like so. Get the mask hunter. It's engaged with us. So. 
So, Mask Hunter, 4 fight for health and plus 2 health per investigator. Uh, do evade, humanoid cultist delete. Uh, spawn engaged with prey, prey most blues, hunter. 2 victory points, hits for 2 damage and 1 horror, so it's engaged with us and has 6 health. I think we're trying to evade or run away from this guy in any way we can. Encounter guard is on wings of darkness, so would have been really helpful if we were in the same location as where we're landing if we fail this, so I'm just testing it. Oh yeah, these are ready. It's a skull, it's a zero, doesn't help, we'll fail it, we'll take one damage and one four. And uh, we really don't need the sixth sense for this moment, so I'm using the violin to discard it and draw a card. And uh, Robs of Endless Night is helpful, so we're committing these three to evade this guy, so we are evading a five or two. Zero. Mask Hunter is evaded. Second action will go to. Let's go to East Town. These are spent. Don't have any ally assets to play or anything else. Uh, we will instead uh, get a resource. Five resources for, and last action. Uh, that, that that was uh, the last action. So evade, move, and uh, get a resource. So yeah, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. No, uh, we have to do the upkeep. So uh, this guy hunts here. Nothing else happens. We'll uh, discard Dragon Ball, draw four more cards. We have David Renfield, Smoking Pot, Kukri, and Lord of Radiance. And uh, again, one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Well, this time I forgot to use Alyssa, so we are going in blind. So uh, we'll draw Encounter Card, Grip Chill. I'm using the violin to discard the cookery, draw a card, sword cane. Okay. Uh, I'm testing four versus four. I should just commit this, so five versus four, six versus four. Minus three, not enough, so. Fortunately, we'll lose something, so I'm losing the violin. Then uh, we'll go to the investigation phase. First action, I will uh, investigate here. Investigating uh, two verse, uh, well, let's see, four, four versus two. Minus one, we get this clue. Second action will move to downtown. Uh, two clues here. And that is our turn, so uh, enemies hunt here. Uh, we'll ready up. Oh yeah, let's use Alisa before we forget again. Serious chanting is okay, we can just add the uh, doom on that uh, uh, Victoria Devro and defeat her next turn, so let's keep that both on top. We'll discard these two and we will uh, draw back up to four. Mm, Kukri, Scrying Mirror, Fight of Light, Shroud of Shadows. 
And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. Encounter card was the mysterious chanting, so place to doom on the nearest cult enemy in play. That is that. Uh, first action, we move to north side. Three shroud, two clues. And Victoria Devro engages us. We will parlay. Oh, yeah, we forgot to take one resource at the end of the last turn. So we have the five resources, so we'll just those. So Victoria Devro is defeated. And that is at least one cultist defeated. We'll spawn the second cultist on our last action, so let's see what we get. Uh, Peter Warren, so we have a good means to defeat Peter also. So just need one more clue and just move in, defeat Peter, and that is that. So we go to the enemy phase. This guy's hunt here. Upkeep, uh, we discard our hand, draw back up to five. So read the signs, actually really good. Spectral Razor. Track shoes, crying. So, and we'll gain resource. So, we'll also use Alisa before. <laughs> I'm, I'm really bad at remembering Alisa. So, block door. We can just put it on downtown. So, we'll hit that at the top. So, yeah, so Alisa is also ready. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had uh, Doom, so 3 of 8. And come to card past the locked door, so we'll just lock door downtown. And first action is to gain a resource. Second action is to play read the signs. So we add our. Uh, uh, willpower to the in investigate, so we are investigating seven versus three. Uh, we'll go eight versus three, nine versus three. Elder sign, <laughs> so a bit overkill. So again, we'll just shuffle the, our deck, uh, or discard back into our deck, so... Uh, this is what I like with Patrice, if you hit those Elder Signs, you get to see your good cards over and over again. But if you don't, <laughs> then it's a bit different story. Okay, so uh, we grab two clues here. Last action, we'll just move uh, to Miskatonic University. There are two clues here. Peter Warren engages us. We forgot to tokens on Peter, so let's do it now. So Peter hits us for one damage. That is okay, we'll take one damage. Uh, the enemy face this hunt here, then Peter hit, hit us. And we'll go to upkeep. Uh, we discard track to choose. We draw four. Six sense cookery, moonlight ritual, peril fades. So one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We'll add a doom. Four of eight. Oh, yeah. Well, I forgot. Alisa. So encounter card is hunting shadows. I could spend one clue or take two damage. I'll take the damage. We are quite near the end of the game. So we have taken, I'll just change this. Three damage, so taken five damage, so two damage left. And uh, first action, we will spend two clues to defeat Peter. 
second action we'll investigate here uh, committing parallel fate so five versus uh, actually second action we'll move to St. Mary's Hospital one clue here and I'm investigating here rather than at the university Uh, minus three, so we are investigating with willpower five versus two, so that is enough. Grab this clue, and that is our turn. Enemy face, this guy is not here. Upkeep, we will discard our hand, draw back up to five. Dragon pole, scrying, uh, fight or flight, shroud of shadows, so nothing use really useful. So. Also gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. And again, <laughs> again, I forgot uh, Alice. Well, it's my own fault. We'll draw blind. So let's see. Obscuring fog. Dale, that is okay. So we will first action spend the two clues to spawn another cultist. And it is through Turner spawns on us. We need to evade. Well, unfortunately, we only have taken one. Okay, so we'll uh, first play the fight of light. So we have a three. I will commit the uh, Shroud of Shadows to evade. Mm. So we still need plus one. There's no point in this. Uh, Okay, if we don't succeed, we really need to just resign on this turn, because uh, those two will hunt and uh, defeat us. So we can't stay here, and we don't have actions to move away. So, uh, this is the last uh, real action of the game, so, drawing, uh, so we need a plus one to evade. Minus two, we are on it. We are unable to evade uh, Root Turner to hit her. Last action, we are resigning. And that is the game. Well, it, it went okay. Uh, regarding that we have a Chaos deck that is not really tuned for Atreus's game style. But still a decent effort. Uh, two cultists defeated. We got uh, one and two victory point locations. So four experience out of this uh, game, so not that bad. Uh, we missed two victory point locations and the mass hunter, and we could have gotten a root turner with a lucky draw there, but it wasn't meant to be, so... Well, um, as always, Patrice is uh, really fun to play, one of my uh, favorite investigators to play because of the mechanic that the deck gets shuffled, so you usually see uh, your whole deck during the game, so hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.